Hi students, welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Learning Computer Science. In this video, we are going to discuss about functions in Python. So this video is part 1 of functions. Let's go into the topic. Functions are nothing but collection of statements and this collection of statements performs a specific task. Okay, so why do we need to create a function? Normally, bigger programs are very difficult to manage. So, to avoid that, larger programs will be divided into smaller units. Okay, and every small unit will be given a name and this small unit is called a function. So, it is a named part of a program which can be called or which can be invoked or which can be used in any part of the program okay so instead of writing bigger programs you can divide the program into smaller units so that program writing is easy uh, debugging is easy testing is easy everything becomes easy when you are using a function so once a function is written you can use this function in any other part of this program. Advantages of using functions. It is easy and fast program development because we are dividing a bigger program into smaller units called functions and for each group by group we will be writing codings and we will combine together as a big program. So it is easy to write coding for smaller unit and then combine everything. And program testing is also easy because part by part, group by group, we can test the codings and codes can be reused. It is not necessary to write uh, the codings again and again for performing a particular task. Once written, can be used again and again and the codes can be shared in other parts of the programs also. So easy and fast program development, easy program testing, code reusability and code sharing are some of the advantages of using functions. Functions are broadly classified into three types, built-in functions, functions defined on modules and user defined functions. Now built in functions are predefined functions which is already available. We have to just call them to use these built in functions and these built in functions make programming easy, fast and efficient. Some of the common built in functions are input function, print statement, eval statement, then there are many type conversion functions like int, str, float and other functions like min, max, etc. So all these are built-in functions, predefined functions. The next one is functions defined on modules. Now first what is a module? Module is nothing but a .py file. Okay, It contains the definitions of functions and variable. So module is a simple python file, it contains functions and variables. Each function is made for a special task. So to use these functions which are available in modules, we have to import these modules in any program. After importing, you can use these functions. Okay. So import, uh, there are two uh, formats to import a particular module. So import module name or from module name import function name okay uh, and uh, the most common modules are math module random module okay so this is uh, about functions defined on modules then the next one is user defined functions these user defined functions will be defined or defined by the programmers or their users uh, depends upon the particular requirement. So if an user want to solve a particular task, the user can create their own function and the function can be called anywhere in the program. Now let's see how to create a user defined function. 
Now the syntax for creating an user defined function is the function should start with a keyword def ok def followed by the name of the function. So function name should be given by the programmer and then within parenthesis parameters parameters are optional according to the requirement either you can give the parameter or the parameters can be omitted parameters are nothing but the variables now after the parameter colon is a must after that body of the function will be with indentation okay the function body statements will be with indentation so all the statements after the function header will be with indentation right and see the keyword def marks the uh, function header and the function header ends with a colon here. So def is the keyword and function definition the body contains here it should contain at least one statement more than one statement is optional. So a function definition must have at least one statement and more than one statement is optional. Points to be remembered while creating a function. When we write a program, we have to start the program with function definition. Okay, so function definition should start with the keyword def. The keyword def marks the start of function header and uh, it ends with the colon, right? And then function name must be unique and follows. Uh, naming rules of identifiers for example if you are naming an ident identifier we will follow certain rules like the identifier name should start with an alphabet um, it should not begin with a number underscore uh, it can begin with underscore other special characters are not allowed so these rules are applicable while naming a function also now taking arguments is optional in function you can give arguments or you can omit it colon marks the end of the function header as I told you earlier and the body of the function can contain one or more statements okay one statement is mandatory more than one statement is optional and then function can have a return statement also a return statement is also optional if you want you can have a return statement otherwise return statement is optional and functions must be called or invoked so if, if, even if you are writing a definition without invoking the function you will not be able to execute the function right so to execute the function you have to invoke the function then only the function code will get executed Come on, let's try to create a function. Okay, so first to create a function, we have to define a function, right? For defining a function, what are the things necessary? We need the name of the function, the parameters if required, and the body of the statement. So the function definition start with the keyword def, followed by the name of the function, right? So here the name of the function I've given is my first function because we are going to, this is our first function. So I have given the name as my first function and within parenthesis I didn't give any parameters because it is optional I don't need anything here. So I didn't give anything there are no parameters and then colon look at the next statement it is with indentation that means this statement is the body of the function which is a print statement I am just printing my first function ok. So function definition ends here and then let's start the main program. So the first line I have given a command line to just uh, uh, tell everyone it is main program. Main program begins and in the main program the first statement is print statement. I am just printing hello dear students. Now let us use the function which is defined. So how will we use? We have to call the function, invoke the function by just specifying the name of the function which is my first function ok and there is no parameters so no need to give any arguments inside the bracket so just specify the name of the function my first function and then again another statement is given now let's see the output of this program 
function execution a program execution begins from the first line okay so what is the first line it is def when the compiler sees the first line as a def the first statement will be executed the body will not execute it it will come to the main program comment line will not execute it so execution begins from print statement so it will first print hello dear students and then the function call it goes to the function definition it will uh, execute the body of the function which is print my first function so my first function will be printed and it will come to the next statement of the function call and it will print enjoy learning python okay so this is how you have to create a function and this is how you have to call the function calling invoking a function should be using the name of the function python function anatomy anatomy is nothing but the parts of the function right so let's see first def calculate x this is a small function the name of the function here is calculate an expression is here that expression is stored in a variable and there is a return statement is there it is returning a value in the main program we are receiving the input from the user and storing it in a variable called n and print calculate n here in python the variables are not storage containers instead it is ref used to refer the memory area where the particular value is stored okay so first here the name of the function is calculate an argument is the parameter is nothing but the variable which is given within parenthesis that is x okay and the, here this is the function header function header starts with def and ends with colon and there are two statements with indentation that is the body of the function and main program starts from here n is equal to int of input of enter a number here the function call is inside a print statement okay function call there is one parameter so in the function call you have to use one argument okay there is a return statement also so def there is a keyword def name of the function argument a function header body of the function and function call these are the python function anatomy that means part different parts of the function in a syntax language the items which are specified inside the angle brackets okay that is less than greater than symbol has to be provided by the user or the programmer okay then items inside square brackets so anything specified within square brackets or optional either you can give or it can be omitted now the items or the words or the punctuators which are specified outside the angle brackets or square brackets have to be written as specified okay it is mandatory to be written as it is if if those items or words or punctuators outside the angle brackets and parenthesis uh, square brackets now look at the syntax for the function so the function syntax starts with the keyword def then function name is specified within angle brackets then the name of the function should be provided by the programmer then within uh, starting parenthesis it is not specified inside square bracket or angle bracket so it has to be specified as it is then parameters are specified within square bracket that means parameters are optional then closing parenthesis has to be specified colon has to be specified then the next line is function doc strings so this is optional because which is given within square bracket so doc strings is nothing but documentation strings documentation part of the program then the statement which is given in angle bracket that means the statement has to be provided by the programmer second statement is given within square bracket so more than one statement is optional this is how you have to understand the syntax language now let's see some examples of defining functions okay so here i have created one function called sum okay this function is to calculate the sum of two numbers 
and with a return statement so the first example is a function with parameters and with return statement so function uh, start with a keyword def followed by the name of the function which is sum and there are two parameters x comma y colon then the next two statements are with indentation that means those two statements are the body of the statements okay so that is a return statement so s is equal to x plus y it adds the two numbers and uh, s is uh, storing those two numbers and return s the output uh, the function is returning a value here with the return statement and the next function is without parameters and without return statement the name of the function is greet and there is only one statement which is ha printing uh, happy morning now def is the keyword and the name of the function first function is sum and the second function is greet and the parameter for the first function is x comma y and for the second function there is no parameter and function header begins with def and ends with a colon and then function body the statements with indentation are the body of the state uh, function and then function uh, first function is having a return statement second function does not have a return statement so a function may or may not have a return statement thanks for watching my videos and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel enjoy learning computer science for further updates thank you bye bye